Hi everyone, my name is Lukman and I'll be talking about our project on conversational AI chatbot for the elderly and the disabled using NLP. The goal of this project is to actually provide a virtual caregiver system that is able to provide some physical and mental support, in fact emotional support to elderly and based on the survey carried out in the US, it's pretty much obvious that assistive technology is on the higher demand and the same is the case here in France. And this project is carried out by Omdena Paris chapter in collaboration with France chapter. Moving on, we have laid out here that we aim to implement an AI algorithm for caregiver level conversation and of course to pro process medical counseling dialogue data set, which will be relevant in providing the mental and emotional advice to seniors and the disabled. And lastly, to be able to evaluate this model on precision and of course, avoidance of giving random answers and the ability to understand the context of discussion. And for the implemented solution, we analyze chatbot datasets of responses by experts and of course qualified um, counselors. And also we, pro we processed another dataset, the anonymity, which contains about 43 um, topics for um, uh, expert annotated counseling dataset. And lastly, we implemented um, a chat GPT model with its DaVinci um, text dataset and for the deployment we were able to put this on Streamlit framework. I'll go straight to our model pipeline where we show here that our chatbot core, um, of course we did mention the expert advices which is the source of the dataset and we're able to build a model that um, take advantage of the database that we have and of course we provide an interactive uh, platform here that is accessible and um, made available to seniors and the disabled. Over to the, okay, so to, to the demo, um, I'll switch over here and here is our demo platform, a deployed model. And I could start by saying, hello, and I should get some response here. It says, hi, I'm Robert and I'm here to help you with anything you can need. Okay, that's uh, quite a, uh, a good response and I would say something like uh, I have a light headache it's a light headache it's a light headache and it says um, there are a few things you can do to help you um, relieve a light headache it knows um, this is pretty much important. I can, I can, I can go over having the issue with a light headache and a bad headache, because in this case, it knows that it's an elderly talking or a disabled person, and it gave responses, gave about seven options to go by to avoid alcohol, to take a massage in the neck, to try relaxation, to take a painkiller, or so. And of course, you want to ask what you get from a real doctor like drink plenty more water i'll easily just switch this with a bad headache just for comparison purpose i have a bad headache and at this point we can uh, perhaps easily if you have a bad headache it's best to um, take some ibuprofen or um, over to the counter okay over the counter pillar pain reliever now these are what may be made available to people and okay and the worst case scenario of course is you should see, see a doctor this is very important and I'll say that uh, I find it difficult to sleep okay I find it difficult to sleep so we wait for response uh, this is supposed to be instantaneous but um, I guess this is based on the processing power now beyond the boundaries of these steps outside your comfort zone one way to do this is to challenge yourself and this is more or less giving some emotional support and uh, seeing how it should be uh, done okay even traveling to places this may have recognized something of um, maybe um, boredom also and I will go to say that um, how can I improve my physical fitness? Okay. Um, there you have it. Okay, here. Yeah. Um, ah, it's quite uh, interesting here. 
because it's it's able to list about uh, five options and it says start by setting realistic goals something i can achieve and make sure the goals are achievable and so on and it says the first one is to incorporate aerobic activities in your routine and thirdly uh, strengthen your muscles increase the intensity of workload and of course make sure you're getting enough rest very important and it mentioned it even went further to mention about eight hours per night so this is the summary of our demo and thank you.